Mike Haas along with Mike Detillier talking Saints after their practice and another day and another pretty big news day yesterday with Will Lutz and today Patrick Robinson in his 12th year out of Florida State. Tell us Coach Payton, he's retiring. Yeah, Mike, I think you know in training camp and we see this so much across the league today. You get out there, man, do I want to continue doing this? Uh, Patrick's made a lot of money in this league. Uh, Coach Payton's talked about he saved his money, done well with it. Um, and he was making a change. You brought him in here as a nickel corner inside. Then you were moving him outside. And first day of practice, Bob and I were talking about it. I thought Prince Amakamura, he was every bit as good as Patrick Robinson. Almost maybe your guard got to be in it. And it just wasn't for Patrick. And he, he's got to walk away. Well, Prince has his jersey now. So he's it, it all kind of worked out. Coming. He's wearing 21. And, you know, Another player out there, uh, Bryce Thompson, 31. Yeah. And so, again, you talk about opportunities. There are so many opportunities for these. Grant Haley, Bryce Thompson to step up. Yeah, and the thing with Bryce, I thought he would get picked in the draft. I had him as a fifth-round selection. He had a few issues at Tennessee, but the fact that he can play outside corner, in the nickel, free safety, and the more you can do, the better off you are, and he can play on special teams. The thing about it, I'll watch. Secondary coach on him, and he come off the field and he kind of get on about your technique and, and just watch for this, watch for that. My thing about it is, Mike, come on, we're doing this long enough. If a coach don't think you can play, he ain't telling you nothing, you know. So he's coaching him, understanding Bryce can play. I think he's got a real strong shot to make the, the final roster here with the Saints. Final question, and you and I have been doing this a long time. We came into camp and it was quiet, training camp was beginning, and then, you know, David on Yamada, Mike Thomas. Uh, Will Lutz, uh, you know, and then P. Rob. Uh, we still don't know about Deontay. We still don't know about Marshawn. I don't think I've ever Traquan Smith. I haven't seen around, but and we, I don't think I've ever seen a camp. We, usually, when there are big injuries, guys go down, and you go, "Oh my gosh!" These guys just kind of disappear and fade. It's just I've never seen anything like it. The closest thing I think would be year one in 2006 when there was that massive changeover personnel-wise, but it wasn't like every day. And this here hit. And, you know, now you look at that team that Sean inherited and the team he's got now, you know, you expect it to win. And so back in 06, you were hoping to win. So it's the most eventful training camp period we've ever covered. I don't think there's any doubt. Lots more to talk about. Again, 4-8 to eight on Sports Talk with Bobby Hebert, the Cajun Cannon, Christian Garrick, Mike Dettelier, and by Koss as well. 4-8, 8, 8, 870 AM, 105.3 FM, and the Odyssey app.